Well, if you thought the race for the White House couldn't get any nastier, it just did, and in the most personal way. Late today, Donald Trump launched a blistering new attack on not just Hillary Clinton, but on her husband, Bill, too. Yes, Trump went there after the former president's sex scandals. The presumptive GOP nominee also fired off at top members of his own party who refused to back him, telling them he doesn't want or need their help. ABC's Mary Bruce on the campaign trail leading us off tonight. Tonight, Donald Trump is taking aim at both Clintons. She's married to a man who was the worst abuser of women in the history of politics. And Hillary was an enabler, and she treated these women horribly. Just remember this. And some of those women were destroyed, not by him, but by the way that Hillary Clinton treated them after everything went down. And blasting Hillary Clinton for saying he treats women badly. She's going... Did you hear that uh, Donald Trump raised his voice while speaking to a woman? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, all of the men, we're petrified to speak to women anymore. We may raise our voice. You know what? The women get it better than we do, folks. All right? They get it better than we do. Trump's attacks coming after Clinton gave him a new nickname. And their presumptive nominee, otherwise called their presumptuous nominee, Trump isn't just fighting with Clinton. He's also at war with members of his own party who won't endorse him. Most everybody has endorsed me other than Paul Ryan. I don't know what went wrong there. The two will meet face to face next week after the speaker's bombshell announcement. I would bet if he had that decision to do again, he would have done it the simple way. I endorse Trump. While the list of Republicans turning their backs against Trump is growing, we asked voters what they think. Well, to, to use a Trumpism, if I could do that, is just suck it up. Suck it up. Suck it up. Come on, guys. Others are struggling with the idea of Trump at the top of the GOP ticket. How could we as an American people actually vote for somebody with this kind of character um, and have be comfortable with this man being our leader? Mary there with the voters and now joining us from a Trump rally in Washington. So, Mary, Donald Trump hits both Clintons hard today. Her campaign had said they didn't want to get in the mud. What are they saying tonight? Well, Cecilia, no response yet from the Clinton camp to those latest attacks. We'll have to wait and see if they can stick to their strategy. But big, enthusiastic Trump crowds like this are only likely to further egg him on. Cecilia? I think you're right, Mary. Thank you. Donald Trump seeming to shrug off those GOP leaders refusing to support him. He sits down with George Stephanopoulos on This Week. Take a listen. Does the party have to be together? Does it have to be unified? I'm very different than everybody else, perhaps, that's ever run for office. I actually don't think so. I think that... It doesn't have to be unified? No, I don't think so. I think it would be better if it were unified. I think it would be, uh, there would be something good about it, but I don't think it actually has to be but unified the in the split, traditional how do you win? sense. Because I think I'm going to go out and I'm going to get millions of people from the Democrats. I'm going to get Bernie people to vote because they like me on trade. I have to stay true to my principles also. And I'm a conservative, but don't forget, this is called the Republican Party. It's not called the Conservative Party. You know, there are conservative parties. This is called the Republican Party. And you can see that full interview. It airs tomorrow morning on This Week right here on ABC.